Hey, what's up? Found this new website today that has an API that you can use to get, uh, well, not live prices, but fairly recent, like within like the last hour or so. I've been using the feed in my spreadsheet, which tracks, you know, the coins that I have and how much they're worth. So I thought I would share it with you. So if you want to make your own uh, portfolio tracker in Google Sheets, super simple. So this is the website. It's called cryptoprices.cc. And this is the website. Super simple, super basic. It does nothing else except provide you with very simple instructions on how to get prices from what seems like to be CoinGecko. So the data is only going to be updated by the looks of it once every 30 or 60 minutes. And so as long as you don't need up to the second live prices, this should be fine. Um, I mean, it's free, so you can't really ask for too much really, but um, super simple stuff. You want to get and use this section here, which says uh, for Google Sheets, you want to import data and then the formula is the website and then you put in the ticker. So here's some examples here. So let's just start with something basic. So let's say you might want to put new coins here. So let's say you got Bitcoin, ETH and Solana. If you go back here, you'll notice that they're using the ticker names, not the full name. So We'll use the ticker names here because what we'll end up doing with, we'll just copy this. It'll make sense in a minute. So that's loading. So that says 41878, which is about right. I'll just change that to a dollar. Um, you can, of course, get rid of the cents if you want, or you can add as many decimal points as you feel like it. Uh, if we paste it in again, it's going to give you the Bitcoin, but if we go up and say, change this to be ETH, it'll give us the ETH prize. But you'll notice there in, in the uh, formula, you got the ETH here and you also have ETH here. So what we can do is a bit of formula trickery and we will just use the ampersand so that's e3 right e3 and then close this off okay so now the formula says import data from this website and whatever's in cell e3 we'll chuck that here and then we'll close off with the brackets done so if i now copy this paste it down it'll give me the solana price so copying it um gives me the for like the format as well so that was a dollar with two decimal places um the other way to do it uh let's type in some more just for fun link uh let's go bonk let's go Bushy, that'll do right see where's the the dot here let's put the mouse there so it turns into a crosshairs and just drag it down yeah bonk is zero that's because the actual price of bonk is something ridiculous because there's like a hundred trillion of those things so anyway that's the price of bulk you want to increase the amount of decimal places and then over here what you could do is you know quantity or something like that uh, quantity so i don't know if you've got like two bitcoin and uh, no, 20 ETH, 400 sol uh, and then you can go equals two times this and then hit enter again it will oh that didn't do it hmm. anyway we can just drag that down i think how many link we got i don't know one two three four uh bonk bonk's gonna be like in the billions so let's say we got a billion of that get rid of the um there we go and sushi, I don't know how many sushi you might, you know, you might have 100 sushi or something. So that's the dollar amount that you've got. So that's the value. And then if you wanted to do uh, the sum of all that, you, up here, you can go sum. You can just highlight all that, bold that. Cool, done. That's it. 
Now this sheet will update itself roughly once an hour because that's how this import data function, if you go look at the Google Docs, it updates itself about once an hour. That lines up with the price feed anyway from crypto prices. So yeah, I mean, as your the amount of these coins that you've got changes, maybe you buy more sol, you sell all your link or maybe half of it. I don't know, we haven't got 400 left. Yeah, so that number will update. You can do some other cool stuff too if you wanted to make a graph. Uh, insert chart. Uh, let's go. Let's get pie chart. So there's your pie chart. Very cool. Customize that. You can put in a legend. Pie slices. Slice label. Here it is. Um. Actually, I might have to, if I put label, I may have to change the data range to be E. Here we go. Right. So there's Bitcoin, ETH, Sol, and then a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we can go this. We can put that over here. Cool. Done. Just a quick one. You should be able to build something pretty cool with that. If you do, let me know. Let me see what you got. Talk to you in the next one.